I will have latte. What about you? I think I will get caramel latte. Oh, I'm going to bring extra cash. Do you have some for me to borrow? Credit cash with me anymore. Now I use credit card. Do you have a credit card? Some salesperson tried to sell me at the show, but I was too old to buy information so I didn't get one. Menu mine. Let's see, I have this card, this card, and this card. Uh, let me check which has the best discount for Starbucks first. What do you sign up for so many This card has better cash back for dining, and this has better cash back for transport, and this has better rate for I can't remember what. Hey, hi guys. Have you ordered any drinks yet? Not yet. I'm trying to recall which card has the best rate for Starbucks. You have many cards there. I used to have so many credit cards as well, but I couldn't hit all the minimum spending. In the end, I also cannot get the guarantee cashback on. After that, my friends recommended me to use the credit card recommendation system. It helped to analyze my spending factors and recommend me the credit card based on my spending factors. Before the introduction of the credit card recommendation systems, I used to search for the credit card in the famous credit card recommendation website, which is known as moneysmart.sg. There is a fallacy in the recommendation systems. The website doesn't recommend the applicants based on their spending habits. Instead, it shows the users a lot of credit cards and tends to confuse the users. Let's forget about the past and venture into the future. A group of young developers from NUS has developed a revamped credit card recommendation system. This is the overall system design. When the user visits the website, he or she will be asked to fill in a series of questions via the user interface. Upon submission of the form, the answers to this question will be sent to the Node.js server. On the Node.js server, a JSON string containing the answer to this question will be generated, which forms the body of a REST request. After which, the REST request will be fired to the Rules engine running on Redis server. The Rules engine is built in Python using durable Rules library, and it contains the rule to determine which is the recommended credit card based on the highest cashback amount. The recommendation is then concatenated in the response body and fired back to the Node.js server. The results are then returned and rendered in the user interface. The user interface, or so-called UI of the system, is a web-based application running on Vue.js. The website will collect necessary data through UI system user dialog, followed by sending collected data to the back-end root engines, which in the end, the UI will display the best credit card and eligible cashback amount to user after receiving the back-end result. Let's take a look at the Durable Rules Engine. The Durable Rules Engine is more variable compared to the Crips Engine. The engine implements full forward training and cache inference state in Redis. This engine also provides simple annotation to define the rules and facts and easily integrated within Python applications. Last but not least, the Durable Rules Engine provides shorter learning curve compared to other rules engines like Crips with own syntax. In order to provide the best credit cards, the developers have enhanced the accuracy via conduction of survey and data extraction. Now I'm using a single credit card and I'm able to meet the minimum spending requirement on that card. Can you introduce me to this system? I don't have a card yet, but you like to share one. Sure, let me show you the credit card recommendation systems. First, at the home page, press start if you are interested to know the best credit card for you. In this page, you are required to key in your personal information. What is your age? 26 and your nationality, Singaporean PR. After that, we click next. At the next page, you are required to input your revenue and spending. The data collector will be sent to the backend rules engine to do the calculations. Key in your annual income. 
and also your average money spending. After that, you are required to key in the details in which category you spend the most. Let's try out. If you key in 30% on dining, 10% on public transport, 0% on petrol, 5% on taxi, and 0% again on the house bills. Let's see what is the expected outcome. We press submit buttons, and then we wait for a while, while the back end is doing the calculations. Okay, here you go. This is the recommended credit card for you. If you are interested to look at the more detailed information, you can press at the DBSI Fresh Card and it will prompt you to the bank homepage. Wow, great. Thank you for your attention. Okay, you are welcome.